Welcome back, everyone. Sheepdog Smokey here, and here we go. Joe Scarborough. History has chosen Democrats, deemed them guardians of the rule of law. Uh, Joe, start taking your meds. Joe Scarborough said Tuesday that history has chosen the Democratic Party to be the guardians of the rule of law. One of President Trump's most vo vocal critics on cable news turned his ire toward the Republican Party as a whole. The Morning Joe host is livid at the Republican Party's reaction to stories involving Attorney General William P. Barr and Treasury Secretary Stephen T. Mnuchin. There has uh, become, over the past several weeks, a sustained and increasingly quickening assault on the rule of law, said Mr. Scarborough, the former Republican congressman from Florida. Joe was never a Republican. The word is rhino. Whether you look what Barr did in his testimony, whether you look at the fact that he committed perjury in the House and probably, and probably the Senate, no, he didn't. You have the Secretary of the Treasury coming out and saying, oh no, we understand there's a statute that says the Chairman of the Ways and Means Committee has a right to see any American's tax returns, but we're just not going to comply with the law of the land. A statute is not law. A statute is not law. The Republicans don't care, he continued. The media watchdog Newsbusters reported, so it is. History has chosen the Democratic Party at this point in time to be the only party in America who will stand up and defend the rule of law the only party. There is no one else there. And as a former Republican and a guy with a lot of Republican friends, it makes me sad. You're not a Republican, Joe. But this moment in history has provided us only one political party that can stand up and defend the rule of law, and that's on the Democrats. Whether it's the smart political calculation or not, the Constitution requires it. Mr. Scarborough, I have a copy of the Constitution. There is no law or, or anywhere in it that Releasing your taxes is mentioned, uh, and uh, I'll, have, I'll be happy to send you a copy. Mr. Scarborough's latest commentary oh, echoes an op-ed he wrote for the Washington Post on September 11th, which claimed Mr. Trump, President Trump, has done more damage to the dream of America than any foreign adversary ever could. The host later backtracked on his rhetoric after negative feedback by saying he should have shown more care on the tweet's wording and the column's conclusion. Joe is a liberal. Joe is what I refer to as a rabid liberal. We've had over two years of Joe, Mika, and the rest of them just championing Russia, Russia, Russia. I'm surprised Joe wasn't starting his show with the Russian national anthem. And Bob Mueller said there was no collusion, and he had no evidence of obstruction. When William Barr said, oh, look, Bob Mueller said this, they went nuts. They said it was inaccurate. So he asked Mueller, was I inaccurate? Bob Mueller said, no, you were not inaccurate. The media was, which that has been ignored. Bill Barr did not commit perjury. The Democrats want to spin it as if he did, because he will not release 100% of everything and anything that they demand. The Democrats, any member of them that has the right clearance, can go to a secure location. It's called a SCIF, S-C-I-F but a secure location, and read the 100% unredacted Mueller report. They don't like this because they can't then say, look, see here, look, see here, look, this, 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 and they can't talk about it. And Joe knows this. Joe knows that unless they manage to force William Barr to say, fine, here you go, they never will be able to. And if they manage to do that, they're immediately going to crow, ah, you broke the law. The Democrat is the party of entrapment. Mr. Mueller did not find collusion or obstruction. Attorney General Barr stated that. Then, as he stated in his letter to Congress, he abided by U.S. law, redacting what was legally required to be redacted. He released that to the public. He then told the members of Congress who have the right clearance, you may read the fully unredacted report in a certain location where it is legal for you to do so. And immediately Democrats start just trumpeting their, he's lying, he's lying, he's Trump's man. They, of course, ignoring Eric Holder's, I see myself as Barack Obama's wingman comment. What's good for the goose is not good for the gander for any of them. It is always they get their way. I personally am of the belief that Bill Barr has far more being investigated than what he's told Congress. 
and that hopefully by the end of this calendar year, we're going to start seeing people arrested, charged, and tried for their crimes. And the one thing most people don't seem to remember, a lot of what's being investigated would be tried as a military tribunal. They wouldn't be able to shop the Ninth Circus for their favorite liberal judge. They'd be standing before a military tribunal, unable to say that, well, I just, I didn't know, and get their favorite rabid liberal hack in a robe to let them off the hook. We are in a, we're at a crossroads, honestly. And this one's not going to be pretty or smooth sailing the whole time. We're going to have some bumps. But those bumps, I hope, are the guilty. You know, the Hillary Clintons who sold uranium to Russia and kept the money. The Eric Holders who ran guns to Mexico. The Comeys and Strucks and Pages who tried to orchestrate a coup d'etat against a duly and lawfully elected President of the United States. I personally would like to see someone like Ted Lieu, who, as far as I can tell, and I am not an attorney of any kind, especially in that military, but from what I've read, seems to be uh, in violation of the UCMJ, that's the Uniform Code of Military Justice, as he is currently a member of the United States Air Force Reserve. Uh, recently, he promoted to colonel, if what I read is right. And if that's true, one, he should be dishonorably discharged and removed from Congress. And maybe when they start dropping like flies, maybe Democrats will stop and think, oh, crap, they're actually getting convictions because these people were guilty. Maybe I should try to get a deal. And honestly, the, the only deal I would give would be, okay, Miss Pelosi, you're going to sell your million-dollar mansion, and you're going to live in your own district, or what was your district, for a term of 10 years in the same housing your former constituents currently live in, on the salary, they, the average salary of your constituency. And that's it. I would love to see them forced to live in the squalor their constituency lives in. But Joe will never face anything more than ratings. Thankfully, MSNBC is tanking almost as fast as CNN. And when it does, Joe, Mika, Stelter, and the rest will just be tearfully bemoaning the obvious racism and bigotry of the country, that they're just not able to do what they love, which is lie. But honestly, I've talked about this one long enough. I really can't stand to talk about Joe or Mika or any of them too long, especially not when it's dedicated to him. I will say this, Joe. Rule of law means that when a special counsel concludes something and the Attorney General correctly reports that to Congress, that it stops. It means that when the Attorney General says, it is illegal for me to release this entire report, I must redact parts of it to obey the law. You, however, may legally view it in this one location. That's the rule of law. The rule of law is not Senator Kamala Harris ordering the President to stop enforcing immigration law. Rule of law is not Congressman Eric Swalwell telling an American citizen, we have nukes, when that law-abiding citizen objects to being disarmed by his government. Rule of law is, very simply, what is actually happening. You and your Democrat buddies are liars, and more and more people every day see it. And I honestly cannot wait for another liberal meltdown on election night 2020. Because by then, maybe Joe will have gone bald, pulling his hair out for... Why won't the bigots just obey me? But let me know what you think. As always, keep it civil. We don't learn from argument, we learn from debate. Please also make sure to like, share, and comment on this video, as well as to subscribe and turn on notifications, so that you are among the first to know of any and all new content as it is posted. Until next time, everyone have a wonderful day.